I'll be doing something a little different today. Portland is a city located in the U.S. state of Oregon, near the confluence of the Willamette and Columbia Rivers. Except when it's not! As many of you probably know, we live in Portland, Maine. And by we, I mean the members of English in Action. We don't always, because we go to college in different states and things. But anyway, Portland is the biggest city in Maine, with a population of about 66,000. The problem with living in a city called Portland, which is the biggest city in your state, is that people go on tours. You know, people they like. Like, for example, Al Stewart. You know, bands, people, YouTubers, all kinds of stuff. And you know, that you'll see a list of like, we're going to New York, we're going to Boston, we're going to Chicago, we're going to Portland. Going to Portland? Hooray! I can't believe you're coming to a city where I live. That's really exciting because no one ever comes to Portland and it's really great that you're finally coming to Portland and I'm really, really excited that you're coming to Portland. And then we're going to Seattle and Vancouver. Oh. The other Portland. It's very frustrating. However, I'm going to tell you a little secret. There was a time when there was a chance the citizens of Portland, Maine would not have suffered that horrible excitement and then disappointment which they experience every time somebody says they're going to Portland and then they're going to the other Portland. In 1843, William Overton sold 640 acres, which is currently where Portland, Oregon is, but at the time was called The Clearing or Stumptown. Um, half of it he sold to Asa Lovejoy of Boston, Massachusetts, and half of it he sold to Francis Pettigrove of Portland, Maine. Now, both of these guys wanted to name this new city after their old hometowns. So how did they decide that? Well, in 1845, they flipped a coin. Because they just spent apparently three years trying to decide, and they're like, screw it, we can't. Just leave it to probability, we'll decide that way. Portland wins! So, what's the big deal with that, then? Well, here's the thing. Portland, Oregon, and Boston, Massachusetts currently have very similar populations. Um, about 600,000 people. Portland, Oregon had been named after Boston. There would be two Bostons in the United States of roughly about the same size. So there wouldn't be a problem. Everyone would be confused. Everyone would assume you're talking about both the Boston on the East Coast or the Boston on the West Coast, so you'd have Boston, Massachusetts, and Boston, Oregon, and it would be fine. But no! Portland won the penny flip, but Portland, Maine, did not grow as much as Portland, Oregon did. And when people talk about Portland, people assume that they're talking about Oregon. They never mean this Portland. They always mean the other Portland. They always mean... the wrong Portland. So, as a Portlander, and as a Mainer, I am left to suffer. There's not really a point to this video, it's just kind of a rant about the fact that Portland, Maine's a good city, too. Why can't you come here? But anyway, update, update, update. English in Action's projects are coming along. We have a new project for you, which is unrelated to Brian's projects. To give you a little bit of hint, I just, I made this the other day. For that project, because we're filming a scene in my house. It's kind of a time period centric a uh, hint. I'm sure you've heard inklings of it. There's been whisperings of it on the Facebook page and even on this channel. So before this drags on for like an hour, I will see you sometime, Brian. I hope you make another video because I will send you more letters threatening you with not murder. I think I just said don't be a jerk, but that's fine. Same difference. Thank you for watching.